Welcome to School 2020. In this video, we will discuss about blood and its components and their functions. Blood. The red liquid that circulates in the arteries and veins of humans and other vertebrate animals carrying oxygen to and carbon dioxide from the tissues of the body is called blood. It is a liquid connective tissue. It is slightly alkaline. It originates from bone marrow. An average male body has 5 to 6 liters and female body has 4 to 5 liters of blood. The pH of blood usually ranges between 7.35 and 7.45. The average temperature of blood is about 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degree Fahrenheit. Components of blood Blood consists of a liquid part known as plasma and a solid part or the formed elements which are mostly blood cells or particles suspended in the plasma. The formed elements include red blood cells, white blood cells and cell fragments called platelets. If the red blood cells and other formed elements are separated from the fluid components by centrifugation, it's found that blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. Plasma and in the figure you can see it is a test tube and the yellow part is the plasma. Plasma is a fluid part of the blood. It is pale straw colored. It consists of 90% water and 10% of a variety of substances in solution and suspension. The major components of blood are protein, glucose, amino acids, various enzymes, antibodies, hormones, lipid, etc. Plasma from which the fibrinosin has been removed is called serum. Functions of plasma Number 1. It produces a fluid medium through which different dissolved materials including blood cell can be transported around the body. Number 2. Transports carbon dioxide produced by cell respiration as hydrogen carbonate to lung. Number 3. Transports the products of digestion, example given, glucose, fatty acids, glycerol, amino acids, vitamin from the ileum of the elementary canal to different cells. Number 4. Transports the nitrogenous waste products produced in the liver, example given, ammonia to kidney. Number 5. Transports hormone, mineral ions, antibody and blood proteins, example given, fibrinosin. Number 6. Provides cells of the body with water and maintains the water balance of the body. And number 7. Maintains a high and relatively constant body temperature. Blood components. So basically there are three blood components. Number one is red blood cell, number two is white blood cell, and number three is platelets. So now we will read about, learn about red blood cell. They are formed in the bone marrow. The average viability is 120 days. It is non-nucleated and appears mostly like circles and biconcave discs. There are approximately 5 million red blood cells present per cubic milliliter of an adult male. 
the amount of RBC is comparatively less in female body. It looks red due to the presence of hemoglobin. The functions of RBC. Number one, transports oxygen as oxyhemoglobin from lung to different cells of the body. They are known as Robin Hood molecule. Number two, they sometimes carry carbon dioxide. And number three, the hemoglobin acts as buffer. White blood cells. They are irregular in shape and fewer in number than RBC. They are there are four to ten thousand WBC per cubic milliliter of blood. They are produced in the red bone marrow and lymphatic glands. Their average viability is one to fifteen days. They are colorless and contain nucleus and DNA. According to structure and presence of granules in the cytoplasm, WBC can be divided into two types and they are a granulocyte and granulocyte. A granulocyte. It's also divided into two parts, lymphocyte and monocyte. The cytoplasm of white blood cells are without granules and transparent. So the cytoplasm of white blood cells which are without granules and transparent are known as a granulocyte. Again a granulocyte are of two types lymphocyte and monocyte. They are produced in the lymph nodes, tonsil, spleen etc. Lymphocytes are small cells with large nuclei and monocytes are larger cells with kidney shaped nuclei. Granulocyte and it's divided into three parts neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil. They have cytoplasm with slightly stained granules. According to the size of the nucleus, they are categorized into three types neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils or basophils. Eosinophils and basophils prevent allergy in the body by secreting a chemical named histamine. Basophil secretes heparin and inhibits blood clot formation inside blood vessels. The functions of white blood cells. Number one, the granulocytes destroy germs by phagocytosis, thus protects the body. In short, the leukocytes are called the microscopic soldiers of the body. And number two, lymphocytes produce antibody and antibody prevents disease. Now, platelets. They are small in size, colorless and spindle shaped. They remain in clusters. They have stained, non-nucleated cytoplasm that contains cell organelles like Golgi body and mitochondria. They are formed by the fragments of larger cells from the bone marrow. They help in coagulation or blood clotting. They are approximately 2.5 million platelets per cubic milliliter of blood. They originate in the bone marrow. Their average viability is 5 to 10 days. The function of platelets. Number one, responsible for starting the process of blood clotting. As a result, bleeding stops. And number two, produces a chemical substance called serotonin, which causes the contraction of blood vessel. As a result, bleeding reduces. Functions of blood. Functions of blood. Number one, transports gases of respiration. Number two, aids in nutrient, hormone and enzyme transport. Number three, helps in the transportation of waste. 
Number four, helps to regulate body fluids. Number five, helps to regulate body temperature. Number six, helps in the clotting of blood. Number seven, helps to regulate acid-base balance in the body. And number eight, defense against harmful microorganisms and toxins in the body. If you like our videos, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel.